GNN Drag is all set to infuse new ideas into LLM reasoning. In this video, I am going to introduce you to this fantastic research into knowledge graphs. Knowledge graphs or KGs represent human crafted factual knowledge in the form of triplet. And that triplet consists of head, relation and tail. And that collectively form a graph. Question answering over KG or question answering over knowledge graph is short for KGQA. KGQA is a task of answering natural questions, grounding the reasoning to the information provided by the KG or knowledge graph. Large language models are the state of the art models for question answering tasks due to their remarkable ability to understand natural language. But on the other hand, GNNs or graph neural networks have been widely used for KGQA as they can handle the complex graph information stored in the knowledge graph. This is where this paper shines. They are introducing GNN RAG, which is a new method for combining language understanding abilities of LLMs with the reasoning abilities of GNNs in a retrieval augmented generation style. The way it works is quite interesting. Firstly, a GNN reasons over a dense knowledge graph subgraph to retrieve answer candidates for a given question. Then the shortest paths in the knowledge graph that connect question entities and answer candidates are extracted to represent KG reasoning paths. The extracted paths are verbalized and given as input for LLM reasoning with RAG. In this GNN drag framework, the GNN acts as a dense subgraph reasoner to extract useful graph information while the LLM leverages its natural language processing abilities for ultimate knowledge graph question answering or KGQA. Also, they have developed a retrieval augmentation technique to further boost KGQA performance with GNN drag. And all the results in this paper show that GNN drag achieves state-of-the-art performance in lot of benchmarks such as CWQ and WebQSP. If you really closely look at it, all this paper is doing here is it is combining the language understanding abilities of LLMs with the reasoning abilities of GNNs in a RAG style. That's it. The GNN extracts useful and relevant graph information while the LLM takes the information and leverages its capabilities to perform question answering over knowledge graphs or KGQA, as you can see in this screen. The GNN drag improves vanilla LLMs on KGQA and outperforms or matches GPT-4 performance with a 7 billion tuned LLM. It is really interesting to see the recent use of both tree and graph based approaches integrated with LLM to further enhance the reasoning abilities. Now, this KGQA method falls into two categories. One is a semantic parsing method and other one is information retrieval method. SP method or semantic parsing method learn to transform the given question into a query of logical forms such as SparkQL query. The transformed query is then executed over the knowledge graph to obtain the answer but SP methods require ground truth logical queries for training and that is a time consuming to annotate its practice and sometimes it lead to non-executable queries. Whereas IR methods or the information retrieval methods focus on the weekly supervised KGQA setting where only question answer pairs are given for training. IR methods retrieve KG information such as KG subgraph, which I showed you in the previous diagram. So these are the different sort of uh, landscape <coughs> of existing KGQA methods. So GNN based methods reason on dense subgraphs as they can handle complex and multi hop graph information. Whereas LLM based methods employ the same LLM for both retrieval and reasoning due to its ability to understand natural language. And that is what diagram is showing you. So if you look at this diagram again, this is where um, 
the GNN is reasoning over a dense subgraph to retrieve candidate answers along with the corresponding reasoning paths or the shortest paths from the question entities to answer and that is what graph does. The retrieve reasoning path optionally combined with retrieval augmentation are verbalized and given to the LLM for RAC. So if the question is which language do Jamaican people speak and there are two answers English and Jamaican English then it is given to LLM and the prompt is to generate helpful relation path from the graph. From there the retrieval augmentation is done with uh, reasoning First, retrieval is done with the help of GNN, then reasoning is done with GNN, and then there are two a few answers, and shortest path is found. And then it is textualized, and then RAG is done and LLM produces the answer. So this is what this is all about, the GNN RAG. GNN RAG is repurposing GNNs for KGQA retrieval to enhance the reasoning abilities of LLM. And in this framework, framework the GNN acts as a dense subgraph reasoner to extract useful information, while the LLM leverage its natural language processing abilities for ultimate KGQA. Also, the retrieval analysis guides the design of a retrieval augmentation technique to boost GNN RAG's performance. GNN RAG achieves state of the performance in various benchmarks as I already mentioned to you. So if I summarize this research, in this there is a new method for combining the reasoning abilities of LLMs and GNNs for RAG based KGQA. And RAG is as we all know retrieval augmented generation where we provide external context or information to the LLM which is augmented to our prompt and then LLM answers our question in the context of our, on our own data. So this framework which is GNN RAG has repurposed GNNs for KGQA plus the retrieval analysis guides the design of a retrieval augmented technique to boost GNN RAG performance and its effectiveness and faithfulness has already been proven by the benchmarks and it is also shown to retrieve multi-hop information that is necessary for faithful LLM reasoning on complex questions. So that's it guys I hope that you enjoyed it. I believe that sooner rather than later we are going to see lot of tools based on this GNN RAG so stay tuned. As soon as I see the implementation we will do a local installation video and then we will play around with it. I hope that this was useful if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.